Welcome to the show, everybody, to Wildlife Radio's Wrestling with the Beatdown with the King and Callie. What's going on, King? I take, I take it you do have a new name for the show. Yes, we do have a new name. Well, I told you last week, as I exited very early, that I would never be on Between the Ropes again. And I guess I kept my word, didn't I? Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. No longer Between the Ropes. We got a new name. What's the name of this new show? We're going to go with the Wildlife Radio Wrestling, the beatdown with the king and the cat. Oh, let me say that again. Okay. Wildlife Radio Wrestling, beat down with the King and Callie. There you go. There you go. That don't sound like a bad show there. Uh-huh. I'd tune in and listen to that. Well. I bet you a lot of your listeners are a little surprised, even though I did say I would never be on Between the Ropes again, and I <laughs> held my word. Yeah, you did. I yeah. bet you a lot of your listeners are a little surprised that I'm even on it all for many reasons. Using the King's English there, are you? I think a lot of, uh, uh-huh. there was a lot of reasons I may not appeared on your show today. I hear you wanted to touch on one or two of those. Well, yeah, I want to just go ahead and go right into this, this whole apology thing. Well, I've made a lot of sacrifices to even be here today, but I wasn't about to miss today. Let me... And I think you're kind of heading in the direction I was hoping you'd go in. You oh. <laughs> mentioned something about an apology. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip so everybody knows where I'm coming from before I touch on this base, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and spin mm-hmm. that. Hold on. Oh, Callie, Callie Keurig over there uh, tried to ambush me with some things that she should have known better than to do, and... Tried to make fun of the king on a radio show, and she found out that I'm not somebody to be made fun of. Not on television, not on radio, not on podcast. And I ended her little show about a half hour early, and she had some filler to do over there this week. But, oh, after countless apologetic emails and I'm sorry's and it'll never happen again, and plus butt jewing from her boss for upsetting me, I guess the king will be back on there. Okay, Kenny. Uh, really? Apology after apology? What? Uh, are, are you sure about that? Do you care to rethink your recollection of last week's events here, Kenny? Let me tell the people out there what really happened. I figured that you might try and get a little tough when we went on the air. <laughs> try and save some face with your listeners. Oh, I'm come sure on. you got high fives all around the studio last week <laughs> when uh, when I exited on you a little early. Uh-huh. But then again, it kind of left you in a creative mode where you had a better than a half an hour of show to fill. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I have no clue what you filled it with. Y'all might have went dead air for all I know. Oh, you can check our YouTube. All I know, Callie, is that you <laughs> went into some areas that you shouldn't have went into. And I'll mention his name right now. I'll say the name. Mr. Damien, <laughs> the big cheese, the big man that runs Wildlife Radio. Big he hunting. got on you. He made a oh. phone call about three minutes after the king was oh, off the ladies. air. He wanted to make sure it wasn't some type of publicity stunt or something. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that you didn't jeopardize his number one rated radio segment. That even gets more listeners than Who's Slamming Who. Uh, kind of. Oh, no, come on, me Kenny. To, he loves me. I admit that a little bit, but I heard we surpassed over 80,000 listeners. Yes, yes. In that short little half hour segment that we had last week. That's true. And not only did he tell you to apologize to me, not only did he say, Callie, you do what you got to do to get the king back on the radio. I hear that, I, I don't know this for a fact yet, but I've heard rumors going around down there. Oh, God. They're putting together a care package for me. <laughs> They're putting together something like you get when you go to the Hollywood Grammys. <laughs> really? Apologetic gifts. I hear that, that, that laptops are being rounded up. I heard that big flat screen monitors are being rounded oh, up. Geez. New furniture. Just anything that would make the king's life a little easier, I hear, is being put together in a big care batch, package and shipped right up here to Louisville, Kentucky, where I live. As a big, I'm sorry, with your name on it. Oh, okay. Sorry, we yeah. don't, we, we, we'll never upset you again, King. Please don't take your show and leave. Come on, King. Because Kenny. you realize the extra 50,000 listeners I've brought to this radio show, and I don't know that I've brought them all from Who's Slamming Who. I mean, I, ex- I, I think what happened is a lot of people just happened to tune in that day, and then they happen to tune in again the following week, and, and, and it's just built to what it's become now. They love me too, Kenny. They love me, too. It's, they it's, love you, too. Yeah. But I think even you'll have to admit that you pretty much stagnated at about 40,000 <laughs> listeners. Which ain't, that, that ain't bad. I'm it's not slapping you around. 
Anybody out there has got 40,000 listeners on a radio show ain't bad. But when your boss realizes that all of a sudden at 1 o'clock on Fridays we got 75, 77, 80,000 listeners, okay. he, he, oh. he knew what was driving the forces, and he knew you better not screw it up. Well, I don't know about this I know for a fact. I don't know how much. I always liked your ass, Callie, but I hear you got a little less of it these days. <laughs> I don't but know about okay. that. And, and it's a miracle I'm even here today, man. I was I was in an oral surgeon's chair yesterday, and you know this for a fact. Yes, I did. It was did. all over the news up here that the king was having oral surgery. And a lot of people were very concerned about my health. There were some complications. As I was I had, uh, had a couple of three um, teeth removed there, and, and, and there were some complications with a couple of them. And, a lot of bloodshed and and a, and a lot of uh, a lot of medication, ah. but I wasn't going to miss today's show for the world, Kathy. I wanted to hear those apologies. I wanted to hear confirmation that the care package was being well. Together. Now, see, I know the whole thing is is you took that wrong, and and I don't know what you're talking about the apologies because uh, I took it wrong. You know, my my ass is still right here, right here, King. <laughs> And, um, you know, it is. I, I don't remember sending any emails like that. So, uh, I, uh-huh. the, the care package, is, I'm that's sure okay, that's... okay, Callie. If you got a safe face, baby, that's okay. I'm, I'm sh- back. <laughs> the boss man, the boss man up in Maine is happy. Yes. There's he, a big smile on his face right now. You might get a care and, package, but it's not an apology care package. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a big truck to pull up in front of my door any minute now. <laughs> I might have to interrupt this show and help them and help them bring in all the goodies that are being sent to me to make sure you don't screw up again. Right. Okay. You probably, gonna... you probably cost the radio station thousands and thousands of dollars for 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 angering me. You, That's okay. You think it's so? It's all worked out to both our benefits. Okay. You still have we'll a job, see. and and I hear I have a nice care package coming. <laughs> all righty. Well, let's go on with the show here. It seems like over at Who's Slamming Who, now everybody go check out the site, whoslammingwho.podomatic.com. Kenny's got a couple segments on there. You're on the main show again this week. Boy, we're just running things over there again, aren't we? Yeah. Just, I think they just forgot what a good thing they had, and all of a sudden they got a little taste of the king and no Jim Cornette. <laughs> he didn't even run a segment this week that I know of. I think we ran him off. Well, they actually and said he was too busy. That's the way I wanted it anyway. I, I don't want Cornette where I go. I don't need him where <laughs> I don't need him where I play. I don't need him where I work, and I especially don't need him on my radio shows or my television shows. They're, they they all do much better when he's not around. Well, now they said that he was busy going from Philadelphia back to Orlando, you know, for the TNA mm, shows and all that. Likely. So. That's their excuse for that. But it seems like Tommy Fierro is starting to come around and actually make some good decisions over at Who's Slamming Who by having you on the main show. And I see the comments there have blown up, both good and bad, of course. Now, you can't give me too much shit for reading the bad, okay? Because they're there, Kenny. As long as they're legit, documented forms, I I can't say much about that. Okay. And and I I personally, Callie, have always said there's a couple of hundred idiots out there (laughs) that haven't gotten that haven't gotten aboard the Bolin Foundation. Oh, I'm sure there's more than that. That that don't understand the slogan "finger" and the youth of America and try and make something dirty out of it. But um, just, just. it's just ungodly uh-huh. what the Bolin Foundation has been able to do lately and, and, and all of the countless pictures and photographs and, and DVDs and, and wrestling tickets and and the, the many things we've been able to do lately and, and uh, right. how anybody could could besmirch my name with, with all that I try to do for the young tykes. And with you personally witnessing, I don't know if you ever posted the pictures or not. I just put them on know, my MySpace. I know that your, your staff and crew took plenty of them when yes. we were doing that autograph show. Yeah, I just put them on my MySpace. You can check it out under events at myspace.com forward slash Air Cali, two eyes, A-I-I-R Cali. Check out the events and you can see the autograph signing with Kenny. And uh, check out the pictures with him and the kids. Make sure you do because uh, he's got his finger up for you. And, uh, and yeah, they're pretty good. The youth of America. That's right. That's what I titled it. <laughs> um, but anyway, you almost made, totally made a departure from talking about Jim Cornette this week over at Who's Slamming Who.